Start by jacking up the car. If you know how to change a tire, you should know this step already. Don't forget to set your e-brake, chalk your rear wheels, and use your jack stand. An impact tool makes the job a lot easier. If you don't have an impact tool handy, you can break the lug nuts loose while the car is still on the ground. If your wheels are aftermarket like mine, you'll want to pop out the center cap. You'll see why later. Continue with disassembling the brakes. Remove the caliper bolts. Remove the caliper and set it aside to where the hose is not going to get stretched or kinked. Remove the brake pads and set them aside and remember which side goes which. Remove the two bolts that are holding the brake caliper bracket. Remove the brake rotor. Use an impact tool to remove the axle nut. If you don't have an impact tool, then right after you pop that center cap out of the wheel, or if you're still using the stock rims that doesn't have that hole covered up, you want to use breaker bar to loosen the axle nut while the car is still on the ground. Don't forget to remove the washer as well. Also, disconnect the ABS sensor. Turn the steering wheel to gain better access to the one bolt near the tie rod. You'll need a breaker bar. I couldn't find mine, so I had to use my impact tool. Turn the steering wheel again so you gain access to the two bolts towards the front of the car. As you can tell from the wetness, I have soaked the area with penetrating lube. The hub will most likely be stuck. If you have a slide hammer available, which I didn't, you'll want to attach that to the lug studs. I decided to put one of the bolts back in, screw it in about halfway, and use an extension with the socket over the bolt and use the steering to push the hub out and break it loose. Do this at your own risk and only as a last resort. Be careful not to damage the metal shim when you pry at the hub.
after you're done prying in various locations, it should wiggle right out. The new hub is not going to just slip right in. You want to clean out the inside as well as the surface. Keep test fitting the hub till it can go in easily and continue cleaning if you need to. Applying anti-seize will make the job much easier if you ever have to do this again. Install the new hub and don't forget the shim. Make sure the handle on the shim is in the same area where the ABS wire is going to go through. Make sure it's flipped the right way or the brake rotor will come in contact of that handle. I like to use a little Loctite on the threads. These should not come out if torqued properly though. Fasten all three bolts and torque them to 85 foot-pounds. I usually like to torque in steps, so maybe start with around 50 foot-pounds, then 85. I like to over torque by an extra foot-pound or two since I'm using an extension. Now you can connect the ABS sensor and clip it into place. Apply a little Loctite to the threads of the axle. Reinstall the washer. Then install the axle nut. For now, I'm just torquing at the 85 foot-pounds to start out with. It will get torqued to 155 foot-pounds when the car is back on the ground. Now will be the time to check for any ABS lights. You'll most likely have one after you start your car. If you have a scan tool or even a blue driver, you'll want to use it to scan for ABS codes and clear them. If the ABS light keeps coming on when you're driving and you're also getting service traction messages, check your wiring. If you continue to have problems with the ABS system, then your hub is probably defective and you'll need to replace it again. I'm currently having issues with the one I installed on the driver's side. At least the scan tool will tell you which side it is. Start reassembling the brakes. Remember to use Loctite on the bolts. The bolts to the brake bracket also get torqued to 85 foot-pounds. This will also be a good time to clean up the little ears on the brake pads and apply some anti-seize to them before reinstalling them. Mm -hmm. 
reinstalled the brake caliper and torqued the bolts to 25 foot-pounds. I could not find my socket that fits these bolts, so I just guessed with my wrench. So basically a little tighter than I would with the oil drain plug. Reinstall the tire. I never torque the nuts all the way till the car is on the ground, so around 50 foot pounds is a good start. Remove the jack stand and lower the car carefully. Finish torquing the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds. Since that center cap is removed, you can access the axle nut and torque it to 155 foot-pounds, which is basically the max my torque wrench will go. Reinstall the center cap or the wheel cover and you're done. You're welcome.